What's going on you guys? This is Max KDI here. So basically today I'm going to be uh, removing the hard drive cage from the Dell Precision. I'm show you how to do that. So basically I'm going to be using a Milwaukee drill bit set. I think they sell them online. You can get them in the uh, retail stores. They have them. And this is the Shockwave Titanium Impact Duty. And the drill I'm using also Milwaukee. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the SATA power cable from the hard drive, or if you have a solid state drive, lift this up the hard drive cage caddy. And to remove the cab, uh, we're gonna remove this, connect the front cover basil. And it's got little clips, you press them up gently with your finger and it slides out. So what I'll have to do guys is I'm gonna take a drill. I have to put the bit set quickly. So the one I'm gonna start off probably will be probably the bigger one this one i'm going to use that one that one is a three six three one six it looks like see the number i want to lift lift it down i can't so the number is a three one six i'm going to be using that one and set to speed so basically I'll show you guys see this is the hard drive cage that you have to remove and basically it's got screws over here so basically locked down so you have to take those off and be in the other in the front the clip-ons so what I'll do is So we got two old, now we got one in the right here in the bottom. And there's gonna be one in the front you have to remove also. That's removed now. There's in the bottom three. Actually, here in the top, have to go to the other side. Let's keep coming off. Okay, so now, so I did remove the two here in the, the top and there one in uh, the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys the front. So this is what you have to remove. Put the drill bit right here, the way in here. And one, one here, three in the bottom, and two in the top. They have to use, so now I see it's a little bit loose. It's about to come off really soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, this one and three move. I'm gonna bend this quickly. And there's one on the bottom you have to remove. You see in the bottom right here? There's one here and one on the bottom. So you're gonna take a drill.
You got it? Okay, so. So it's almost loose. Now there's two more. It's, let's see. do guys is take a drill again and drill one here in the bottom on the top it looks like There's one here in the top. I'm gonna have to use that one also. I can, I can reach it. Oh, they're kind of short, the bit says. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit like this. Can't reach at the bottom. So it looks like the last one. So here you go guys, to be a, like you requested the video, you want to remove the hard drive cage. So what you have to do is, you have to drill one here, one there, hole, and one on the right side, and one here, the two in the, so total of three, three in the right you have to drill, and two here in the left, don't forget. So see one here, you have to put one hole, one there, and one on the right, and one in the, right in the left side, bottom and the top and that's how your hard drive cage comes out you can install it back uh, you can probably use the you can use the screws two sided and install it back if you want but that's how it's to remove the hard drive cage for the Dell Precision and the Dell Optiplex so and this is the one install it back if you want but now I'm going to show you guys that you can install the GTX 1070 VD card so we're able to fit in here to do that you see you have to disconnect the USB 3.0 header and basically disconnect the SATA cables Car installed, and you connect the power. So I use the like this, and basically this one, guys, you cannot connect the USB 3.0 header. I I guess. This is for the front and basically if you can get a like a L shape, I'm not sure if they make it, but but other than that, the video call will fit, but the, basically the soul state drive you're gonna install here on top like this and use a double-sided tape like that and you can be fine. That's the only way. And you guys are gonna probably install like an 80 millimeter fan in the front or 92 millimeter fan for cooling. Uh, GTX 1070 guys gonna be the max amount of the video card uh, any 10 1080 there's no way it's gonna be running really hot in here but the 1070 or the TI will work fine just gonna install the fan here 92 millimeter or 80 millimeter fan in the front and I'm gonna show you guys double sided tape uh, this is basically like this it's a 3 a 3M and you just install it like this in the back just like that you see and you're done. You just and you just, when you 
put a stick on it, it should hold up pretty well. So guys, to be uh, end of the video, thanks for watching, bye.